All right, the next stock we're going to be taking a look at is CBDS. Currently trading at $7.36, down 14.91% as of Friday's close on January 20th. All right, so look at a ride in that upper Bollinger Band. All right, volume starting to really pick up in here. And then a big, uh, big pullback. Pretty decent, really. $8.99 hit a low of $6.70. That's a pretty big pullback. I uh, ended up coming back up through the day, closing at a support level, $7.36. Uh, you've got one, two, three, four, four consecutive solid green days, actually five, but four of them really, really powerful. Uh, a lot of buying pressure came in, and then you had that pullback, all right? Of course, I mean, that, that is actually a decent ride up, but man, you gave it all back pretty quick. Uh, I would have liked to see a little bit of a pullback, uh, much smaller rather. OK, um, what we look for with these Bollinger Bands is when you get totally outside that candle, once you totally get outside that candles where I put that if, you know, that really iffy uh, spot on it. And the uh, CBDS definitely would have seen that if we looked at it on the 19th, I would have said, hey, look, I would really be cautious here. Take profits. I, I definitely say that once you see that getting outside that upper Bollinger Band right there. Uh, the following day, pull back. Um, I'm going to hold on this one for uh, maybe a day or so, okay? Uh, let's see how this 10-day simple moving average here starts trending up there, all right? So if you start a candle right here, however this day opens up, it's anyone's guess right now uh, what Monday is gonna look like. So again, I would definitely hold on this one for now. I, I, I would rather make my judgment call while I was watching the market uh, for this one. Mm -hmm. $7.36 on hold. Now. It's in a, it's traded on the QB. And uh, I mean, there's a few different press releases on it. Um, one on December 21st says Cannabis Sativa Incorporated awarded patent for Ecuadorian Sativa Cannabis Plant. And then one on January 9th, Cannabis Sativa HI products featured in LA Times article regarding cannabis trademarks and branding. So there's them too. I'm just going to give you a brief description of the company. I'm not going to go crazy reading. Kind of like not completely feeling like awesome. All right. So it's Cannabis Sativa Incorporated is a fully reporting company with an experienced management team. So that's the one they had on OTC Markets. I should go and find a better one than that. I went to OTC Markets like on their uh, company profile page, and that's the one I was showing there. So obviously I need to go find the one they have. A little more extravagant than that, I'm sure. All right, so Cannabis Sativa Incorporated is... Shit, just open on me. I had it on one page and I accidentally clicked something too fast. All right, Cannabis Sativa Incorporated is a marijuana industrial hemp, and we're prepared to shape its future in a legal environment. We've assembled the team, the talent, the experience necessary to brand and market the highest quality cannabis products available today and to innovate the future of casual cannabis and industrial hemp products. So, I mean, there's on their page, I'm basically on their website right now, there's all different articles about things that they're doing. Because, I mean, even in on December 19th, did we ever go over this one? Uh, if we uh, have, it's uh, been a one? long time, man. Yeah, because this one right here, even on uh, December 19th, Cannabis Sativa enters agreement to acquire real estate for organic hemp and hemp farm in California. Hmm. You know, I'm just going to pull up the news just to see. Because, I mean, once you read the news, you pretty much figure it out. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Announced today that it, on December 19th that it entered into an agreement to acquire a 49% ownership interest in a nine-acre property in Los Angeles County, California. The ownership group plans to lease the property to an ind industrial hemp farm operator who will conduct farming activities under the industrial hemp provisions of California Adult Use Marijuana Act, Proposition 64. The company's president, Todd Dobias stated, we are excited to play a role in what we anticipate will be one of California's first hemp farms under Proposition 64. The farm will produce organic industrial hemp derived products. 
It's it is anticipated that the, the farm will fill part of the company's demand for the industrial hemp based products with California grown organic industrial hemp. Farming activities are expected to commence January 2017. So they're just getting started on their grow. Yeah. All right. Is that all you got, Joe? Or and I mean, there's tons of stuff you can go and sit there and look up. I mean, all the filings of the notes. But you know, it goes. All right. So that is CBDS, guys. If you follow this one, if you got anything else to add, whatever the case might be, make sure you head over to investorshangout.com, investorshangout.com forward slash live to take a look at our live stream.